another banger. Hey guys. Hey family, we're back in the kitchen. Today we are making stewed liver and homemade mashed potatoes. We have liver that has been cleaned and cut up. I put a paper towel in the bowl to drain the water. Flour that we're gonna to use to fry the liver. Various seasonings that I cut up, some onions, red, green, and orange pepper. Fresh garlic, thyme, and a scotch bonnet pepper. Smoked paprika. Maggie all-purpose seasoning. Adobo all-purpose seasoning. And black pepper. We're gonna prepare the liver to be seasoned, and we'll be back. chicken for frying. Shake the excess flour off. So you're just basically taking each piece of liver and you're dredging it in the flour. I'm gonna finish doing this and we'll be back family. I'm gonna start frying the liver. As you can see, the liver is lightly coated with flour. The oil is hot. I'm gonna start adding the liver into the oil. all the way through, just gonna brown it. Then I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and add in the next batch. This love is done. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown. Just the way I want it. I'm going to take it out and transfer it to a bowl and I'm going to start the next batch.
Yes, ma'am. Can you see that? The liver is stewing. The vegetables have softened. Woo! Mm. Amazing. <laughs> it smells so good in Gina and Jason's kitchen. Mix everything up in there. I'm going to add Jason's favorite, as everybody knows, scotch vine and pepper. I'm going to put a sliver of scotch vine in there. Just a little bit. Okay, Jason. You don't want to burn up our baki? Okay, I think that's enough. If you want more scotch bonnet, when your plate is made, you can add it to your plate. But there you have it, guys. Stewed beef liver. Who would have ever thought that liver could taste this good? So good? It looks so good, right. Liver is that meat that people stay away from, but it's good for you. It's high in iron, protein. been washed and clean. I'm gonna start by removing the stem. I like to take the stem out because I do not like too much salt. Ugali, so the maize flour. We're still on a hunt for that one. On a hunt for that. 
So as you can see here, I have my collard greens. I'm gonna roll it up like a nice tight joint. I'm gonna roll it up nice and tight. You see that? It's gonna be interesting not having the collard greens with smoked pigtail or neck bone or smoked turkey pieces. It's gonna be very, very interesting. I'm excited to taste it. It's gonna be delicious. Sure. See what I'm doing here? Cutting my collard greens for my sakuma wiki. Chives, a little 
the salt. Let that heat up and we'll be back. I'm gonna to start to prepare the sukuma wiki, red onions and tomatoes. I'm gonna to add those to our oil. Use a wooden spoon. Strip that in a pot. Some smoked paprika. Remember, you can add whatever seasoning you like. Some black pepper. Some pink fine Himalayan salt. We're gonna add some of minced garlic. Take for a little while. Guys, I can't believe my wife is trying to boom on week for the first time. What you mean, me? You too? I know. <laughs> you went somewhere and had Sakuma week eat and I didn't know about it? Yep. Okay. I'm an African bay. <laughs> okay. But why are you here? Come get him, please. My African bay. So, I'm, uh, okay. As you can see, the tomatoes, red onions, and the garlic. Mmm, smells so good. I'm gonna add in. We're gonna add in the collard greens. Okay. Jason cut a lot of collard greens, as you can see. I don't know who he thought he was feeding. We're gonna add them to the pot. And I know that these collard greens are gonna shrink down to Absolutely nothing. nothing. Ooh, I like how you cut these greens, Jason. Yes, you don't even cut them that good when I'm making regular collard greens. I like that they're nice and fine and they're so clean. You gotta make sure you clean the collard greens because they can get real gritty. I make sure I wash That's right. Okay. Gonna mix the greens in. I'm so excited to try this. Greasy, some liver. I'm not used to eating them this way, so I'm excited. Thank you all for coming to our kitchen, watching. Yes, it's always a pleasure to meet with you guys when we're on the road. When we're vlogging in our kitchen, do you guys think I should add some more collard greens? Yes. What do you think? Of course. Of course, he's gonna say that. Of course. See how fast they shrink. I'm gonna add some more collard greens to the pot, and it smells so good. I think I want to add another dash of salt. Just a little. A little more black pepper. And just stir that in. Because you have the onions and the yeah. tomatoes at the bottom. Yeah. And um, the recipe did say not to add water because as the greens cook down, they will produce their own water. <clears throat> mm. See, we put a top on this. This smells good. Okay. I think that I have mixed it well. Just a pot of green goodness. And I'm going to cover it. And let it steam. Back Ooh, look at that. Wow. Those greens have cooked down. Mmm. Smells good. It is done. Ooh, just a burst of different aromas. Flavor. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Okay.
Hey guys, our dinner is done. Stewed beef liver, homemade mashed potatoes, and some Sakuma Wiki. Everything smells and looks amazing. Delicious, guys. Our first time making the Sakuma Wiki, and I think we did a good job. Some good old liver right there. Yeah, man. Yeah, so as always, stick to your ribs. It's so good to meet with you guys in our kitchen. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Jason and Gina, guys. Thank you. Later.